make a lot of noise for the wonderful Eric Scott! <laughs> I'm not originally from Chicago. Uh, I went home for the holidays uh, a few months ago. And uh, I have a very small, very old family. Like, I'm an only child. Uh, my dad's 70. My grandma just turned 95. So I was buying gifts that I'm going to get back <laughs> pretty soon. You know, like, that, that, is a, that is a tough way to shop. You know? Like, I hope my grandma likes the Entourage box set. Because, uh, that's, all my family came over to my house for Christmas, and I have some uh, some cousins, and they don't talk to me at all. Um, they just play games on their phones all the time. I read an article the other day that some parents are now paying like coaches or tutors uh, to get their kids better at the game Fortnite. Oh, no. Yeah, it's real. That's crazy, because when I was growing up, we had to not get laid all by ourselves. So, uh, <laughs> so uh, no one was teaching us how to do it. I never really got into video games growing up. I only played one because they let us do it at school. It was the Oregon Trail. You know what I mean? yeah, the Oregon Trail. That's fun. They talk about violence in video games now. But as a third grader, I led a party of settlers who all died of the shits. So my little cousin was like, I just killed 50 zombies. And I was like, oh yeah, I buried my son. So, that's not I'm an only child, which is fine. It was weird though, because my parents always drove minivans. <laughs> you know how sad it is to every day sit alone in the back of a minivan? <laughs> it was like taking an airport shuttle to middle school. So that was, uh, strange. I think. I was back, uh, when I was back at home, I was talking to a family friend and she, uh, she said, you know, I feel so bad for people in your generation uh, because you all go to college, you're all drowning in debt, and you're all receptionists. I was like, you know someone who's a receptionist? <laughs> How in the hell did they get that job? I'm interning at a dog walking company right now. And if this golden retriever doesn't write me letter of recommendation, <laughs> I may never be an Uber driver, so things, things are tough out there. I love living in Chicago, it's great. I live uh, right down the street from an elementary school now, and a few months ago when it was nice out, all the kids were outside, and they were having that classic kid argument. Uh, the, I bet my dad can beat up your dad. Remember that? I, got, I kinda got nostalgia. And this kid goes, oh yeah? I've got two dads. <laughs> I was like, hell yeah, Chicago, bring it. Childhood's different now. <laughs> and then that kid looks to another kid, he goes, hey Weston, I bet my two dads can beat up your two dads. <laughs> and then Weston kind of looked down, he goes, uh, actually, my dad's got divorced. Yeah, and he goes, oh my God, man, I'm so sorry. If you need anything, let me know. Cause like deep down, he's a good kid. <laughs> and he goes, uh, you know, it's fine. They got remarried. I have four dads now! <laughs> I was like, man, kids really are the future. Uh, this, this is great. I got out of a relationship a few months ago, so I'm back, back dating now, which is weird because when you're with uh, someone for a while, you learn what they like, you get your moves, and your moves aren't universal. Uh, so, so I'm learning. Especially, like, sexually. They're like community college credits. They don't all transfer. Uh, that's, that's, Every time I go on a date, I have to be like, all right, Eric, you can't choke strangers. Um, you can't... They don't know you won't kill them. Uh, <laughs> that trust hasn't been established yet. I was with a girl the other night, she goes, is choking like your thing? And I was like, ah, I just missed my ex. You know, I just, uh, I miss her. Oh, she's done. <laughs> Gotta find out what people like. I think it's more important to find out what they dislike. That avoids a lot of conflict. Like I used to date a girl who would get really mad at me if I put periods in text messages. That was like a real fight we would have. She read that as an abrupt stop, like I was angry with her. I was like, man, you must really hate books. <laughs> Those things are full of them. <laughs>